Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am going to show you how I tie uh, one of my favorite sea trout flies. Um, this one is called uh, Mallard Express and this is not the original uh, so I have uh, added a little of what I think is working for me uh, you can you can tie it exactly as you want uh, of course as any other flies uh, on this one I have added um, two eyes so it can look like a shrimp it can look like a small bait fish it can look like whatever the hell you want it to look like I guess but let's get to it down to the wise alright guys I am using teal I am using mallard fluor hot orange I'm using SLF uh, fluor fire orange <laughs> I'm using uh, unithread 08 I'm using lead free wire <laughs> and that was not the wire this is the wire of course lead free I like it like that I'm too cheap just to cut the end off so I use the whole thing uh, remember guys just do not take the wire too too near the um, the hook eye because you want to uh, get a great finish of the fly this is where I sap sap a gap just a little to secure it you see my uh, great system it never falls over on the, on the on the on the table it's easy it's just a little piece of foam can drop it upside down and always lands like it's supposed to all right to take the thread down to the towards the hook band a little bit down there and and then you choose your piece of teal that you want to use and there's nothing different about tying this fly than tying any other shrimp fly actually almost any other at least You just have to remember that this is not just a uh, shrimp fly. This this is just something that in the fish's eye could possibly look like a shrimp or a little bait fish. Yeah. A little dubbing, just a little bowl here. And now we have chosen three mallard feathers one big and two small the big is for the tail uh, we don't want to use the whole feather we just want like one maybe two wraps 
at most. Tie it towards the wire. Double it. I will lay a little bit better. One, two, I've got to take a look at it. Yeah. We'll put three. Three is good. Cut off the axis. Make sure every piece is on the right spot. And now you go back with your thread just a little bit towards your pretty little bowl here. And you want the, the mullet to spread around the, the teal a little bit. So you want to see the teal and the bowl just a little bit. That's great. The bang. Can you use wax if you want. I use it a lot actually. I'm not doing it in this video. But I don't hate it like many fly tires do. I use everything I can can use. I I I just love buying new things. I'm not even rich. Maybe that's why. <laughs> like that. You see, we're just doing exact the same thing that we would do if this was a uh, a string. Uh, I made my own shrimp eyes out of 050 mono thread and I use some black um, hot glue or oh, don't know what what it's called actually but <laughs> I think they look good 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 Boom, like that. Secure the eyes. You don't necessarily have to, to glue it, but you know, if you've been fishing like six hours and nothing happens, then you put this fly on and you catch one, two, three fishes. You, you don't want this fly to fall apart. It might be your only fly you got in the box. Or maybe there is something special about exactly this fly that the other don't have. You know, you never know. Halfway on a shank we take one of the small feathers and tie it in there. Like that. The end is so so small. There's no need to cut it off. Saves a little time. And 
and here it's enough with just one turn drag your feather a little, little bit just to tighten it up a little bit secure it make sure everything is correct go just a little bit back so the feathers will spread and because you tie a little bit over them over the fibers it will be a little bit stronger too take our dabbing again a little noodle like that you don't have to like think about tapering the fly or anything like that actually you can if you want to it looks it looks good but you don't have to I just add a little more dubbing than maybe many other do because I like to brush it out a little bit okay time for the last mini mallard feather and just as the second one it's enough just to get like one time around Pull the end over itself like that. Don't have to cut that one either. Double it. With your fingers. Here we go. Now the phone rings. Busy man. Like that, we cut off the axis. Just as usual. Like that. And we just finish off the fly here. Super glue on the thread. It's a good tip to, to hold the thread up so if some of the glue is it's like sliding down the thread it doesn't go into your bobbin. Throw on one whiff finish and we are almost done. Now we take our brush and we brush the hell out of it every feather by doing that we, we separate the, the fibers a little bit and it will look a little bit more nasty after it I like to take a little extra brush on the belly separate the feathers a little bit equal. There you go. So I call this one uh, the Mallard Express Shrimp. There you go. I'm sorry if this video is not perfect, but I. Uh, seriously think you will overlive that one maybe next one will be better stay tuned find out same day same time 
kidding. Uh, please subscribe if you don't already do that and hit the like button. Thank you guys.